I can't draw to save my life, yet I created this, 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 and this just by typing. I'm going to show you how to create epic thumbnails using artificial intelligence with an app called Midjourney. Because if your thumbnails suck, your channel will never grow. Artificial intelligence is taking over the world and you better jump on board because resistance is futile. The first step is to create a Discord account. Discord is a very popular messaging app and this artificial intelligence app, Midjourney, works within Discord. So just go to discord.com and if you don't have an account yet, you will just click up here and it'll say create an account. If you do have an account, you want to make sure you download the app which works for both Macintosh and PC. The app looks just like this. Once you have your Discord account and you've downloaded the app, you want to go to midjourney.com. You're gonna to want to click join the beta, then just sign up, it's super simple, and then you will go to your Discord app. Now, once you're in Discord, you will see icons here on the left, probably not very many if you have just installed Discord, but you will see this one with the sailboats, which is Midjourney. You wanna click on that one. Down here on the left, you're gonna see a bunch of icons, which show the different rooms available to you. When you are a newcomer to Midjourney, you just wanna go into one of these newcomer rooms and it doesn't even matter which room you are in. Midjourney works using queries and all the queries begin with the slash. Is that the forward or the backslash? It's, it's that one. The first thing you wanna type is settings. You'll hit enter and it will give you the default settings. I hit enter twice and the default settings look like this. It's going to start scrolling up as people type other things, so don't let that stress you out. Just keep going back to where you need to be. You want to go to MJ version 4, which is Midjourney version 4, which has the best features. And you also want to click this button called Remix Mode, which allows you to combine photos. Once you've chosen your settings, you're ready to start creating images. And all you do is you hit slash imagine, and you can either finish typing in imagine, hit enter, or just click on imagine right here. And it creates this prompt. All you do now is type in what you want Midjourney to create for you. It can be as simple or as complicated as you want. And this is beta. So sometimes it'll give you kind of funky results and sometimes they're pretty amazing. You'll probably have to tweak it several times to make it something that you really want. Let's imagine for a second that you have a travel channel and you're gonna be traveling in a train and you wanna show a train passing through a beautiful mountain range. So you could just say, show train passing through beautiful mountain range. And then you can add other descriptive things. You just hit a comma and say, vibrant, colorful. And then you just hit enter. After you hit enter, it will show you what it's doing. It'll give you the percentage it's completed. When you first start, it might say something like waiting to start. You gotta be patient. This server is very busy and very popular. And as it starts to create it, the image will start to show up here. And sometimes the people that have images below you will, will scroll your screen. So you might have to keep scrolling. But look at this. It's starting to do it. It's partially complete. And look at this beautiful imagery it's created. Something that I could never draw in a million years. And I'm just kind of doing this live with you this first time. So you can see about lo how long it will actually take. This is going fairly fast right now. It's a fairly simple image for it to create. We're at 93% now. And we can look at it partially done or we can just wait till it's fully done and notice that it scrolled away because other people have been all over the server. So I've got to scroll back up and find it. Here it is. And it's completed. It doesn't have the percentage anymore. So now I can just click on it and look at it. And if I want to see it bigger, I hit open original and it will open it in a browser window. And I can even zoom in a little bit more and go, oh, which one do I like? You know, maybe this one, actually this one here on the top left is kind of great. So I'm gonna go back to Discord and you'll see it has these options underneath it. And the U stands for upscale to get a higher res version of one, two, three, or four. And the V stand for create another version of version one, two, three, or four. So we're just gonna take one and say, hey, give me another version. By the way, this, is just redo the whole thing. So we can start from scratch for that button. It'll create four all new images. So we're just going to hit V1. It creates this remix prompt. You just hit submit. So you scroll down and find it and see that it is starting to create that. Notice it's at 0%. And I have the option to cancel the job if I want. Now we'll talk about the price of Midjourney at the end of this video. And in a second, I'm gonna show you how you can use your own photos to incorporate them. 
So here's four more versions of that V1, and you know, they're all, they're all pretty great. Now let's say I like maybe this one with the clouds and the color and everything's kind of great. And this is two, so I will upscale two, and it will just drop it to the bottom here as another entry and start creating that one. Midjourney can create pretty photorealistic stuff. It can create stuff in all kinds of different styles. It tries to do exactly what you type. The images Midjourney creates may or may not work for your channel depending on what your target demographic is and what your content is. Now here's the higher resolution version. I have some more options to upscale or make variations or I can just click on it, hit open original here in the bottom left so I can see it as big as possible. Click this magnifying glass and I just hit save image as and then I can just save it as a train test and save it to my desktop and then bam, I've got a pretty high resolution image that I could crop and use as a thumbnail. Now, because I am generally using this to create thumbnails, I don't want a square aspect ratio. The square aspect ratio is the default. To change the aspect ratio, you would type in a query and tell it what aspect ratio you want. I'm gonna add a few more details this time and also show you how to specify the aspect ratio. So I go down here and I type imagine and notice that the prompt immediately comes up for imagine. So I'll just click on that and I will say Amtrak train photo reel set in 1800s. Here I added more detail and to add the aspect ratio, you just type dash dash AR space three colon two. Now here in version four of mid journey, you cannot do a 16 by nine. The widest aspect ratio it'll do for you is three by two. So that's closest to thumbnail. I just have to crop it afterwards. I'll hit enter and see what it comes up with. Here's what it came up with. Notice that these are horizontal images instead of square images. And considering it created these from scratch, this is pretty freaking incredible. To put yourself in an image, you click on the plus sign, hit upload file, find an image of yourself. Here's my face and hit enter and then you find your face quickly because you know it scrolls away fast there's my face i click on my face and then i right click and choose copy link don't copy the image hit copy link because i'm going to use that in my next query so i go down here and i hit slash and there's the imagine prompt and now I hit paste. So I can right click and choose paste or on a Mac, I hit command V. And so the first thing after the prompt is the image, then I create a space. And then I'll just say to create that image as something else. So let me say, as a Viking standing on a glacier in Iceland. Keep it pretty simple. And now it'll turn my photo into a Viking standing on a glacier in Iceland. One thing that I have found is if you have a headshot, it's really hard to tell the artificial intelligence to turn that into a full body shot. So if you want to use a full body shot in a scene, you should upload a full body shot of yourself or whatever subject that you want to include in that scene. Another thing you can do is look at what other people are doing to get ideas on things that you can create. You can scroll through here all day long and look at what people are typing, look at the images they're getting, and you'll get some great ideas for thumbnails. And here we're 85% done. Sometimes it does a great job with your face, other times less so. Let's see how it did on my face. I mean, these are actually not terrible. Can you imagine if you had to draw that or hire somebody to draw that? You don't have to stay in Discord to see your creations. You can just go to midjourney.com, log in, click authorize, and up here in the top right, hit go to gallery, and it shows you all of your creations. You can see I was going crazy. I'm kind of addicted to this thing. You can download the images from here by right clicking and choose save image as, but to my knowledge, you can't modify them from here. You have to be in discord to modify them or even upscale them. When you sign up for mid journey, you get 25 queries for free, but you will burn through that very quickly. It's pretty addicting. They have plans starting for as inexpensively as $10 a month on a monthly basis or with a yearly plan, you pay only $8 a month. And the more you pay, the more computational hours you get. 15 hours for 30 bucks a month and 30 hours for 60 bucks a month. I signed up for this plan yesterday and I've almost burned through it. 
I mean, partly because I'm making this video, but it's, it's super cool. So uh, you'll probably end up getting one of these plans and it's probably gonna be worth it. To see how these images generated by artificial intelligence are working out for me on my travel channel, I'm just starting now, click right down there and subscribe to Life Untethered.